Hey there, it's Mark. Here we have the 2020 end case. There's only two more cases for the year. There will be no O, and then P and Q are the last two codes. These are kind of like subcodes. Only two more codes for the 2020 model year, and then 2021 models will start showing up. Yeah, they start showing up earlier than the actual calendar year. Just like real cars, they... You start seeing the 2021 models, even newer than 2020. I mean, uh, before the end of 2020. That looks like a, uh, that looks like combat, I was going to say ice cream truck, but actually that looks like combat medic. We haven't seen combat medic in a long time. Is it really? Nope. It is the ice cream truck, known as Quick Bite. So you change the name. N24 is the code. Now that code has nothing to do with the case code. It's just coincidental that it's the same case code. That's the production code N is for 2020. 24 means that it was produced the 24th week of 2020. Does this uh, model glow in the dark? It kind of has that color, but not. I, it's not greenish. So I don't think this glows in the dark. Let's go ahead and get with the case. Now, oh, Let's just get right to that, right there. You want to see that now? Okay, <laughs> let's see that right now. Wow, got a super treasure hunt. It's been a while. I have a playlist where I got super treasure hunts out of the cases. And it has Spectra Flame paint. Often they'll have a TH logo. This year they have 25th, 25th anniversary of the Hot Wheels treasure hunts. They started in 1995. Wow, well, I haven't had a super in a while. If you'd like to see the cases where I got a super treasure hunt, then you can check out that playlist. No decorations on the front or the rear, just the top. And what they do is they take the regular car and they superize it. You can see the special paint has rubber tires look at all that rubber on the back very nice slicks in the back racing slicks in the front back you have tread in the front oh wow very nice nice way to start the day uh, if i do say so myself where's the regular so i can compare it i don't know if the regular is going to be in this case anyways the the normal the normal demon is going to be just a yellow not a spectra flame yellow here you have the 91 GMC Cyclone. A lot of people really happy seeing this in the Hot Wheels Basics. No decorations in the front, huh? Only, only in the rear. Yeah, nothing there. I don't know if that's an error or they didn't get any printing. Yeah, I like uh, seeing this back in the mix. 49 Merc. Took a break, a long break. And in following people on Instagram, there's a lot of people who are glad to see that back. And even in some Hot Wheels Facebook groups, I see people liking seeing that car back. Pedal de Metal. That model only had one release and then it came back. Yellow Submarine. 96 Chevrolet Impala SS. Is this SS? Yep, SS. There you go. This is a new model for the case. New model, period, for Hot Wheels. This is the first time it's ever appeared in a case. New model to the line. And since it is a new model, it'll have this on the back. That's only on the English cards, they only have this. So when I do my case unboxing videos, I only do the USA cases, the English cases so that uh, people can see. Uh, I showed the back so that people can see what it says on the back. And this is supposed to be a basic treasure hunt for the case. By the way, the Super, the Super has the gold circle flame logo behind the car. Can you see it right there? Gold circle flame logo, Super treasure hunt. Hardly in any cases, pretty lucky we got it. The basic treasure hunt is in more cases. I'm told that this is a basic treasure hunt, is it? Is the yellow submarine a basic treasure hunt? Uh, I don't see the logo. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I could be mistaken. 
No, it says behind the package right there, treasure. Three, two, one. I got it. I got to move on. I might look at, I might. Oh, it's on the other side. How sneaky. How sneaky. It's on the other side. You see this Hot Wheels Flame logo on the right, right by, my thumb, by my thumb? On the other side right there, it has the Circle Flame logo right there. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. And since it's a bigger model, it's kind of hard to see the text behind it. So you can, for this one, you kind of have to know what the basic treasure hunt is of the case. Anyways, wow, got a super and a basic. That's been, that's been a long time. Rip rod and silver chrome. 89 Mazda Savannah. Savannah RX7 FC35. Headlights. Rear end decorations. This model has uh, painted. No, it does not. This one right here. Scan me, I'm one of a kind. Oh, jeez, a uh, three fur Aston Martin 177. This is part of the Hot Wheels ID. That is also hard to find as well. That's the, that, that model name, I need to say the model name. Aston Martin 177. Here's another Aston Martin 177. And here you can see how they make it a, a special color. Now this is for the Hot Wheels ID. You can scan the base and use it with their track systems. No, sorry, I do not cover any of their track system for uh, Hot Wheels ID. McLaren P1, two samples. There's gonna be quite a few exotics in this case, by the way. McLaren P1, pretty nice color, again, Having some unique colors. It's kind of like an enamel, but it's dark gray. It's nice to get different colors. If, if every color was like cherry red, which is a nice color, if every car was cherry, cherry red, it wouldn't be that interesting. So, you know, they keep it interesting. Mix up the uh, colors. Batmobile, silver chrome. Here you have the 2020 Dodge Ram 1500 Rebel and the 65 Ford Galaxy. I'm still working on a video for this on Mr. Grooves. I'll be talking about that. I have it ready to go. I just have all the stuff. You can't see it's right there. Almost ready to go. This is another new model for 2020. First appearance. You have the Dodge Ram. There's a close-up on the tail. The tailgate. And on the grill. Here's a look at the back. Three, two, one, go. My videos are kind of long, so I don't read it anymore. You have to pause and read it. Estana Hado. This is part of the Fast and Furious Spy Racers line. Fast and Furious Spy Racers. I did a video on this and I put it on, I actually originally published it on Race Grooves and then I just decided, you know what, that's enough. Uh, because, well, I explained why. Well. So, it's on a new channel, RGTV, Race Grooves TV, and there'll be no comments. It's not necessarily for kids, but there's just no comments. Just sit back and enjoy the video, okay? I got a couple of videos over there already. I did one with the Fast and Furious Spy Racers, and I also did another one with uh, some H-Case Hot Wheels, I mean H-Case, Fantasy H models, GeoTerra and Donut Drifter. Yeah, I had a 25th anniversary collector case, or rather car carrier, car storage case. It's kind of for kids, so that's why I put it over on RGTV, because that carrying case is kind of more for kids. It's, it's not like Jammers to where it's clear plastic for us to store our cars and jammers are nice because you, you can see right through them and you know exactly what's in the jammer. Surf and Turf, Honda S2000, Roller Toaster, and this one does have that feature where you could pull this down and then the toast pops up and down. So that 25th anniversary mm, carrying case that I showed on RGTV, yeah, it's kind of more for kids. It's a kid's carrying case, right? 
Yes, as an adult, you can use them as well, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. 17 Lamborghini Urus. The reason those car carrying cases are better for kids is because they're very durable. They're, they're not made of a brittle plastic. So if the kid throws them around, then it's not gonna break. Whereas jammers are made out of a plastic so that we can see right through them. And that kind of plastic is very brittle. <laughs> and I showed a bro broken jammer that I have. Here you have the 2020 Koenigsegg Zesco. Oh, and the other model that I showed, that yellow one, that was the 17 Lamborghini Urus. 2020 Koenigsegg Jesco or Yesco. I don't know. I, I don't know if it might be Jesco or Yesco. Uh, I'll read your comments as I always do. I did not notice. I found one on the pegs, actually. I did not notice this spoiler. For some reason, it doesn't seem like my spoiler was like that. My spoiler seemed, it seemed like it was really chunky, just kind of all molded to the back. I'll have to look again to see. So here's another exotic in the mix. Brand new for 2020. Very first appearance. By the way, that'll be on the back of the package all year until it's recolored in a future year. 19 Chevy, and that's the third new model for this case, by the way. I think we have all four. Here we have the 19 Chevy Silverado Trail, 80, that's not 80, Boss LT, <laughs> something looks funny. Well, kind of a scuffy package. You'll have to, you can generally tell. Here's a close up of the graphics in case you were curious what it is. And that's it. Got it on the hood. Dodge Charger Drift. This is in a f uh, flat paint. It is not glossy. Roger Dodger. Another Ford Galaxy. Love this car. And again, I'll be doing a feature on that on Mr. Grooves. Jaguar XC SV Project 8. The reason why I, I do this kind of follow up on Mr. Grooves is because that's a collector channel. RGTV, Race Grooves TV, is. There might be some kid stuff on it. There's going to be some kid stuff on it. But, uh, you know, there could be some car stuff on there as well. Ford Performance. So you have the 19 Ford Raptor, Ranger, Ford Ranger Raptor. Graphics on the top and on the side. Nothing in the front. 73 Ford Falcon XB. I think this was in the last case, carrying over into this case. No tail light decorations. Interesting, it has that form type of uh, form fitting, like a swoopy form fitting blister. Uh, I shouldn't say form fitting because really that was it's kind of something that we talked about when Mattel used it for in the 90s. The China cars had form fitting blisters. I guess you can call it form fitting because see, this isn't form fitting. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's square. It goes up, 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 up. It's not uh, really form fitting. Here you have rip rod again and chrome. I have one already. This is this is. I guess you can call this form fitting because it has this swoop right here. Am I wheezing, Missy? I got a little wheeze. '96 Chevrolet Impala SS, and I'm pretty sure that I showed this one. I'm pretty sure this is not the first one out of the case. So just in case, I just showed it again. '52 Hudson Horton. A lot of people liking this car. I don't know if it's because it's from cars and people have fond memories of the movies, the cars movies and Doc Hudson, or do they just like that car? Because to be honest with you, Mattel does not have a, a, a whole lot of authentic uh, vintage cars. The, they do have like a 55 Chevy Bel Air, right? But this is 52, um, I'm not sure. If there's anything really currently in the basics that's older than that. It's a little bit underwhelming getting to the bottom when we've already had three fantastic cars on the top. Actually, more than three. But we will press on 52 Hudson Hornet, custom Ford Maverick. I, did, I showed this on Mr. Grooves, 84 Pontiac Firebird. 
I used to do a, a follow-up video from the cases, but then I would talk a lot, talk about a lot of things in that video, in the follow-up video, and it wound up being too many things. So now it's like focus, focus, one topic. That's it. So when I did the follow-up on on this, uh, it actually wasn't a follow-up on this. It was a follow-up on a Chevy Vega, and then I showed this too. And that's the focus of the video. It's the Vega and the Maverick. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I still have to talk about this. 84 Pontiac Firebird. It's oh, not a new model. What? Are you sure? Because it looks like it's new. And I have to talk about that. Not today. 2020 Ram Rebel. Ram 1500 Rebel. Another big truck in the lineup. New for 2020. We already showed it. Another Batmobile in silver. Another... Koenigsegg, Jesko, Jesko, big wing on there, another donut drifter, another speed tail, McLaren speed tail, oh wait a second, another, I don't remember if I got this one actually, unless I went too fast in a case, I was expecting, it's supposed to have, yeah, uh, yeah it does have mixed wheels, you can see different wheels in the front and the rear, so just like that, it is like that. We'll come back to it. Turbo and charged was in the last case. Carry over. McLaren Special. Speed tail. There's a look. I told you there's quite a few exotics in this case. So pretty cool. I like this one better than the, the Jesco myself. Pretty cool. Pretty cool design. Definitely air flow. I can't think of the word. Aerodynamic. It just looks like it's going to cut through the air. Interesting. Um, let's see. Is this a is this a an electric car actually? Because I don't see any drivetrain. I don't see anything to that nature. Hmm. I wonder if it's a, an electric model. Slide kick. And if you didn't know about the slide kick, it has a special feature. You can pull. Wait a second. Yeah, you can pull on the back feature and the, the door slides open. Slide kick. I already talked about this one. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Got a special video over there on Mr. Grooves. Too many things. I have too many things over there. Skull Shaker. I have too many. Oh, it moved. See? That's because it moves. <laughs> I have too many uh, special videos in this video to put the cars up there so i'll put them in the description if i i've referenced videos on other channels dotson bluebird wagon 510 momo so it's reverse now it's in black always nice to get wagons another custom ford maverick and there you have the turbo rooster no it's not you're the rooster linster prototype new for 2020 but actually it was new earlier in the year this is a recaller, but since it was new this year, they still put that information on the back. 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. Another new model earlier this year. This is a recaller. Like I said, still has this on the back because it's a new model this year. Another 73 Ford Falcon. Yeah, people liking this. Mod Rod. I hope it gets a lot, lots of uh, Rat Rod graphics. Love that style. Moto Wing. There's the wing on the back side. It's kind of a guy on a motorcycle type custom vehicle there. And another Surf and Turf. When, I think when this one came out, it had uh, that type of paint. Oh, shoot, I've got to move on. <laughs> Spectru Spectro Frost. When it first came out, I think it had Spectro Frost paint. It was kind of neat for the introduction. This is an enamel, light green, mint green. Another Roger Dodger. Another 67 Camaro. No more opening hood in the basics. Nope. Gone. Gone. Sandblaster with the Borla graphics. And Borla is one of the licensed tampos for the Hot Wheels Monster Truck, Special Monster Truck, showing up at O'Reilly's. Turbo and Charged. 
Uh, I'm not picking up all. There's five different models. Tesla Model S. There's five different trucks that are getting special license graphics, I think. Or there's five trucks released. You have Surf's Up. One of the models is a bone shaker, so that's nice to pick up. It might not only be at O'Reilly's. It might actually show up uh, at other retailers later this year. I'm not sure. So here we have another high beam, this time in white. I think it was pinkish earlier this year. For a second, I thought that it might not be well attached to the base. But in looking at it, uh, yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Here you have another Leinster prototype, another 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. I didn't show this closely before, but I like how they put this uh, cracked paint types on the top. That's pretty cool. Six left. And Mark, why do you have so many channels? Well, because, uh, look, uh, I've been doing this over 10 years. It's now 14 years I've been on YouTube. What's man, you look sick. What happened? You see sick. Poor Ducky. Poor Ducky, see sick. Duck and roll, turbo rooster, speed driver. Why so many channels? Because, well, you know, look, YouTube's changed, and I think uh, people growing up and... I think that channels have to have focus. They have to have their own identity. And so Mr. Grooves is a collector channel. Custom 14 Ford Mustang GT. Mr. Grooves is a collector channel. RGTV is going to be, you just sit back and watch. There's another speed tail. Glad to get two. New models are typically two to the case. And it'll be in the next case. And there'll be one, maybe two, usually, usually one. Track time, uh, no track time shout outs anymore, but track time will continue. McLaren Senna in white. Mm, what was that car that was earlier that was like a, a dark gray? It, was it the, oh no, it was the other McLaren. Hold on, it's right here. Hopefully my pile doesn't fall over. McLaren Senna and the McLaren P1. Pretty similar, huh? Very similar. So, track time continues, just no shout outs. Look, I put new lights in over here in my filming room. So now my big table, got some lighting. The only thing is I got stuff on here. I gotta get that stuff off of there. Kind of jammed up in there. All those right there, that's for my uh, marble channel, Marble Grooves. So, you know, what can I say? Uh, things change, so subscribe to the channels that you like. And if you don't like uh, if you don't like track time, don't subscribe to it. If you don't like marble grooves, don't subscribe to it. But if you like the diecast content that I produce, subscribe to RGTV. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.